So you have a tablet and maybe you've gotten some training on it before, maybe it's been a while, maybe you've not used it a lot. You just need a refresher because there was an awful lot of stuff probably told you when you got your tablet. In this little video I'm going to take you kind of on a surface overview of tablet stuff but for more detailed information you need to go further down in the course and check out the info base. You can look up almost anything you need to know about a tablet there. But let's get started. This is a basic tablet. It comes in different sizes. This is a small 7 inch one. Here's a larger 10.1 inch one. You can see there's, there's quite a difference. Also something different about these two tablets is the big one does not have a screen protector on it. You notice how shiny it is. You're actually seeing a reflection. Whereas the smaller one, I've put a uh, protector on it and it's a non-glare. So it's not nearly as shiny. But that's just something. Um, this is the power assembly that you will use to put your tablet together and make it work. You need to take these two pieces of the plug and put them together. Snap. All right. This part would plug into the wall and here you need to put your USB cable into the USB slot. Let me put my camera down real quick. All right. So you put your USB cable in here and your power cable. Whoops. Come back, camera. Whoops. Whoops. Don't tell them what you just saw. Um, you take your power cord and you put it where your connector is on your Samsung. On this little one, it's on the bottom, but on the big one, it's on, I mean, on the little one, it's on the side. On the big one, it's on the bottom. Um, notice that the word Samsung should be facing up in order for it to fit. It won't fit if you do it the other way. So we're going to put that in there. And if this were plugged in, it would be charging now. Um, I accidentally touched the volume button because I have mine upside down. When you go to take the power cable out of your tablet, be sure you grasp it by the connector, not by the wire, never by the wire. So I'm going to take the connector out. Let's just show you a few of the things about tablet usage. Here on the top, this is your power button. You press it once quickly to make your, comp your tablet go to sleep, like so. Press it again to turn it back on. Now I have put a lock on mine, so let me let you look away while I unlock my tablet. Alrighty. Okay, also my tablet's upside down simply because of the way it fits in my case. If I put it right side up, my power button is covered, so my case is very different. But anyway, here's your power button. If you want to reset your tablet or turn it all the way off, you would hold it down. And when you hold it down, you will get a message that says, you're going to power off. You would tap yes and continue, but I don't want to power off. Sorry. Next to the power button, it's kind of hard to see, but this is your volume button. It's a rocker switch. And it's the exact opposite of what you would think. You would think that this would be down volume and this side would be up, but it's the opposite. You press the left hand side in order to make the volume go higher and you press the right hand side to turn the volume down. Um, also on the top of your tablet here, this is your little infrared receiver for getting and sending signals. Coming around the side, I wanted to show you there is a small speaker here, which is kind of hard to see. There it is. There's a speaker and then on this side there should be another little speaker. Well, in oh, in this particular case, both speakers are on the same side. I believe you'll find on the larger tablet that's a little different. There's a speaker on one side, power button, volume, and then over here is the other speaker. So that's a little different depending upon what model you've got. What else can we explore here? Let's see. Um, your tablet has a camera on it and on the larger tablet which is probably what you'll have the uh, camera lens for the webcam is right here at the top and this one is in a case and you can see on the back there's the camera lens and the flash next to it on the top 
this is where you would plug in headphones or a set of speakers, which is explained in more detail later. But that's where that is. Now, if you're using this case, you kind of fold it back and you fold it over and there it kind of stands up. That's what this case is for. Um, that's pretty much all that you need to see about the outside of your tablet. Moving on to some of the things you can do with your tablet. Again, let me unlock my screen. All right, some of the things that you can do with your tablet down here at the bottom. These are your common menu buttons. This is back, home, history, and screen capture, and all of this is explained more later. What you're seeing here is the circle launcher. That's a way to organize your uh, files on your tablet. At the top here we have a Google search. You can tap that and start a search. Or if you tap that little microphone, you can speak your search. I'll show you that one real quick. Fainting cats. All right, it's, it's giving me some options because it did not recognize my, um, <laughs> my enunciation. So I'm going to just read it again. Kittens. There, I spoke much better that time. And it is coming up with the web page results. There we go. So it, that's, that's how the voice search works. This is your web page, uh, your browser. You can see that there are tabs. I can have multiple pages open at the same time. There's a menu button up here in the top corner. Here's where your bookmarks are. There's a search. That's how you make something a bookmark or a favorite. Here's your back and your forward button and your refresh button. Now looking along the bottom of your tablet, this little icon is a quick launch bar. That's explained more later. And this little notification bar is where some of the programs that I have are showing up. I have a weather bug on here, so there's the temperature and the cloudy. There's your clock. And right next to that is a funnel thing. This is your wireless indicator, your signal indicator, so you can tell how strong of a signal you've got on your wireless. Next to that is your battery indicator, so you can tell how much battery you have. Here's a cool little trick. If you tap in that corner on both of those, another screen pops up. Now, on some of, of the tablets, it's a little screen. You have to tap it to get it to open all the way, and it may look a little different. But some of the things you've got here... There's your time, your date. This tells me what network I'm attached to, how strong my battery power is, 69%. This is where I can go to turn my Wi-Fi on and off. If I don't want to be on the Internet, I can tap it, and now it's off. If I tap it again, it will turn back on. This business about the notifications and the sound vibration and the auto rotation, all of that is stuff that you can play with to suit your own needs. I also have a slider bar here that lets me brighten up my tablet or make it dimmer. So say if you're going to be doing some reading, you're going to be one of those in the bed reading in uh, early hours of the morning or in the middle of the night, you're probably going to want to turn the brightness down on your screen. Uh, but that's where that is. And then you can also click settings and that will take you directly to the settings menu. There's a lot of stuff that you will be doing in there that will be detailed more in other videos. Let's go back home. By swiping, you notice I'm pulling and it's changing the screens. These screens are called stages and there are five of them. In this model that I have, you can see a little bar here that indicates, oops, that indicates the names of my, the numbers of my five stages. But these are called stages. By default, this is your home stage. It's number three, it's the one in the middle. You'll have two that go to the left and two that are off on the right. You notice all these icons that I put on here. If I want to get rid of an icon, I can hold it down. And now there's a trash can in the top corner that wasn't there before. When I get right over the top of it, it turns red. Oops, I didn't, I didn't do it fast enough. Okay, but it did get thrown in the trash can. So that's how you throw something in the trash can. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really need to show you at this point. These are just apps that I've put on my laptop, on my tablet. 
There are things in here you can put your email on your tablet, your personal and your work email. There's a Play Store where you can go to get apps. It comes with the search engine and a browser. There's a music player in here so you can play music. There's a camera. You can take pictures or videos and the gallery is where all of your pictures go. I also have an app here for Skype. You can do that and this is a podcast program right here called Beyond Pod that is free. So if you want to do some podcasts, listen to podcasts, you can certainly use that. I have a clock because it's my alarm clock in the morning. Uh, I have a Zap to it app that is actually a TV guide listing. My particular tablet came with this Peel remote and I set it up so I can turn the TV on and off and I can change channels. So there's no more fighting over the remote in the Palmer household. I have also put on here, and you can too, uh, uh, readers. I've got the Barnes & Noble Nook Reader as well as the Kindle. So anything I could get from a, you know, a regular Barnes & Noble Reader, I can put on here. I have a flashlight on here. I have a weather app. Let's see if there's anything else. This is my games page where I play. I have games. This is where I get my news from News360, my Facebook. So there's personal and there's business stuff on here, and that's how it should be. We want you to be comfortable and um, well-versed in using your tablet. You're not going to do that if you're not putting things on there that you're going to use. So now that I've given you a brief overview, I encourage you as you go through the rest of this lesson to try out things. Think about, you know, when you get a new idea and you go, well, I wonder how you do that, go ahead and give it a try. I encourage you to go to the Play Store and install, uninstall. You're going to find that you're going to get apps you don't want, take them off, don't worry, it's no harm. I, I must have gone through a thousand of them by now, rejecting a lot of them, using some for a little while, keeping others for longer. But this is the end of my general generic overview for your tablet. I hope you enjoy the rest of this class. Bye. Stop taping.